Hi everybody, good afternoon. Uh, today I'm gonna give a brief review of my 2021 Toyota Sienna minivan. Uh, this is the Sienna XLE all-wheel drive, uh, seven passenger configuration. And I just passed 50,000 miles. I currently have 52,000 miles. I just did my first tire replacement. So the first tires lasted me to 51,000 miles. And this is my new set of tires. These are the Michelin Cross Climate 2s. These are snow rated tires and I'm gonna take some snow trips to test them out. And I'm gonna also do a review on those tires uh, in the near future. And hopefully I can get another 50,000 or more miles out of this set of tires. Uh, so let's talk about the van a little bit. This is a hybrid all wheel drive. Um, it gets about 36 miles per gallon. And in, living in South Florida, it's not very mountainous. So I've actually always gotten uh, more than 36 miles per gallon. Um, I can get 40 miles per gallon uh, on a 15 gallon tank that equates to about six to 700 miles of driving range, which is excellent. Uh, let's do a little walk around of the van. So we're just gonna do a little 360 walk around. I've been very pleased with this van since I bought it. It's never given me any issues. Uh, the only problem that I've had since I've owned it was one of the seats had like a creaking sound. And this was actually a common problem uh, from what I read online. And uh, the dealership quickly fixed it and I've had no other issues with it since then. Mechanically, it has run perfect. I do oil changes every 10,000 miles as recommended by the manufacturer. And at the dealership, I think the last time I paid like $78 uh, Jiffy Lube, I think they charge like 110. And, um, but I have a dealership close to me, the uh, Toyota dealership, so I just take it there. Um, so let's check out the inside. I'm gonna open that, I'm gonna open this, and I will open the hatch, the boot, the back. There we go, as far as the, um, the material and craftsmanship, everything in this van is kind of like in like new condition. Nothing is deteriorating or wearing away. I just have this little dimple right here for my elbow, but everything else is like pretty much the day I got it. Steering wheel is still in good condition. No chafing or chipping or scuffing. Uh, the carpets are all weather carpets and I take them out once in a while and I spray them down with like a like a wax or like a rubber cleaner but they are pretty cool and it still has a new car smell which is kind of amazing because that usually goes away after six months to a year but this one is still kind of smelling good and smelling strong Check out the back. Now the, the third row folds flat. You pull this latch and it gives you instructions on how it all happens. Pretty easy, I mean, you just pull it and they just kind of flop down ground level. Then you have more space. The second row seats, you can push all the way forward, but they do not fold flat. Um, so if that is something you're concerned about, then you would have to look for a different minivan. This one, the seats, the, they just kind of do this. I will show you. So you pull this, put those up, and it kind of does this little taco thing. And then you can kind of slide it up and up some more. And that's as far forward as they will go. So if you need something with more space, then I think the uh, Chrysler Pacifica has the fold flat second row. So that might be an option to check out. But for me, I mean, I never needed anything more spacious than this amount of space. I can even camp in this van if I fold the third row down. I can put a little inflatable in there and no problem. I'm a little kiddo seat over there. Put this back. And they also recline pretty far back. I'll show you real quick. So that's like your maximum reclining angle for the second row seat. It's pretty good, pretty comfy. You can kind of take a nap back there. And they also slide pretty far back. So if you're someone really tall, leg room is not a problem. Cool. So also one of my favorite features is the amount of ways you can open and close a sliding door. 
So you have the button. You can pull that to activate it. You have the fob. Then you have this kick plate underneath. Close that door. So you do like a little ninja kick. That'll open the door. And then you have two more ways from the inside. You can grab this handle here, or you go around this side, there is a secret button right there. So you push that and it closes. So I think that's like one, two, three, four, five, six ways to open and close this door. So in case one way fails, there's always a backup. I'm gonna check out the engine compartment. I actually don't open this that much, so I don't know what it looks like uh, myself, but I think it kind of looks like a Prius engine compartment. I've had three Priuses in the past, and yep, this is about the same thing. Yeah, all in good shape over here. A couple cobwebs. Huh, gotta clean those out. Get to that later. So this van also has adaptive cruise control and hands-free steering. So you can actually set it uh, from stop to highway speeds and the car will steer itself on the highway. Uh, it won't do like sharp turns, so you always have to kind of watch for it. But if you keep your hand in the steering wheel, um, it will kind of guide the car uh, in traffic from stop and go traffic at highway speeds. It'll follow at any distance uh, that you want. You can have like three distances set from the car in front of you. So I find it very, uh, very nice to use on long trips because it does take a lot of the stress out of following the car in front of you or stop and go traffic and all of that. Close that up. So yeah, that is uh, basically my take on this van. Uh, if I had the opportunity, I would buy it again. Uh, it is still my favorite van when compared to the to the Honda and the Chrysler and whatever Kia has to offer. So that concludes my showcase of my 2021 Toyota Sienna. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up and um, take care.